Hi everyone, this is Nicholas, your all-time favorite host of the Data Academy. In this video, I would like to talk to you about Linux and why every data scientist or data engineer should make the switch. It's time to leave Windows and then behind and choose a big boy operating system. So, here are my seven reasons for you as a data engineer or data scientist to make the switch to Linux. Reason number one, it's your job. As a data scientist, and even more so as a data engineer, anything you will ever build that will have to run in a production environment will run on Linux. The simple truth is that Linux absolutely dominates the server market. Even Microsoft Azure's cloud platform is powered by Linux. So wouldn't it make more sense to work on the same platform you're actually building for? Why develop something on a Mac or a Windows if you know your project is eventually going to end up running on a Linux server? And by working on a Linux desktop yourself, you will gain the skills and the confidence to become a better data scientist or data engineer. Also, there's just a lot of libraries or frameworks that are hard to install on any other operating system, especially in the area of machine learning and AI. You could argue to use a virtual machine, the Windows subsystem for Linux, or Docker to circumvent this issue, but why not just use the real thing? Reason number two, security and privacy. Due to the nature of your job, there will be many cases where you will work with hypersensitive data and one of your top priorities is to keep that data safe. Linux is well known for being the most secure operating system and is a lot less vulnerable to exploits, hacks and data breaches than Windows. Furthermore, proprietary operating systems and software are full of telemetry, recording your every move and harvesting your data for their own profits. Linux doesn't do that. No one is watching along over your shoulder as you're working, and even without antivirus software, your client's sensitive data will be much more secure. Reason number three, the command line. The command line is historically one of the things that put people off using Linux. And while today you can do everything on the Linux desktop without even having to touch the command line, in the end it's one of the most powerful tools in your tool belt. Learning how to use the command line will make you a better, faster and more productive engineer. Even as a data scientist, you regularly have to work with CLIs, command line interfaces, which are programs or frameworks that don't have a graphical interface and use the command line to interact with. Knowing how to work with the command line as a data scientist will make you more confident and once you stop relying exclusively on GOIs, you'll be much more productive. So learn to love the command line. Reason number four, superior workflow. Think about it. With what audience in mind are operating systems designed? They are designed so that the most inept and uninitiated people can use them. And that's great. I want my mom and dad to be able to use a computer. However, you're a professional user. Your daily workflow is vastly different compared to someone who only browses Facebook and uses email. You need an operating system that gets out of your way instead of holding your hands. And Windows or Mac don't even evolve once you become a professional user, nor give you the tools to customize your workflow to your own needs. On Linux, you can customize your desktop in every imaginable way and truly make it your own. It can be hard in the beginning to unlearn some of the bad workflow behaviors you picked up over the many years of using a dummy OS. But once you see the power of it and really analyze your own workflow, the productivity boost you get from that alone is more than worth it. Reason number five, it's faster in every way. It's no secret that Linux is well known for its efficiency and speed and its ability to give new life to deprecated hardware. And while I don't imagine you'll be working on 10-year-old laptops, it still makes a difference. Every bit of memory or CPU your operating system isn't using are more resources to train your AI model even faster. And it's not just the raw speed. Windows and Mac have the tendency to become slower and bloated after some time. Especially if you haven't performed a reboot recently. Linux is a live operating system. It doesn't require reboots, which is also one of the reasons it dominates the server market. And when your system does get bloated, it's really easy to identify the processes and remedy the problem. Reason number six, a distro for everyone. With Linux, there isn't just one desktop, like there is with Windows or Mac OS. In fact, there's hundreds of different Linux operating systems to choose from, commonly known as distros. This can be a bit challenging for the uninitiated, but every distro is designed with a use case in mind, which can be either very generalistic or very specific. For example, Kali Linux is focused on hacking and security, SteamOS is a gaming-focused operating system, Tails OS is a privacy-focused distro, Raspbian is specifically designed for Raspberry PIs, and so on and so on. 
A distro I would recommend for data engineers and data scientists, especially if you are a novice Linux user, is PopOS. It's a Linux desktop designed for engineers and creative professionals. Many development toolkits for engineering, machine learning and media production are available out of the box and it comes with great productivity features like auto-tiling, stacking and highly customizable keyboard navigation. 7. It just looks better. Yes, Linux just looks better. It's true that for many years the Linux desktop had the reputation of not caring all that much about user interface design. But lately the opposite is true. While Windows is apparently trying to go backwards, I mean look at this, this is supposed to be 25 years of iterative design. <laughs> Linux today is absolutely the best looking desktop operating system. Just go on Reddit and look for the term Unix porn. You'll be amazed at the beauty and diversity of the Linux desktop. And if you don't like the look of something, you can just change it yourself. Alright, those are 7 very compelling reasons to make the switch to Linux. And hopefully some of you are brave and wise enough to give it a try and maybe you'll never look back. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.